Hello all, welcome back. This is Cristobal Diana from Trinity Software. In this video, let us see how to make a news application in Python Django. Django is a high-level Python web framework that enables fast development of secure websites. So if you are new to Django, kindly watch my tutorial how to create Hello World app using Python Django to know the preliminary steps of creating a Django project. In this tutorial, we will be using a news API so that we can extract and enhance data from online news sources. So the first step is go to this link newsapi.org slash register. So you can register and log into the news API. Then you have to click get API key button. We will be using that API key to fetch news headlines, world news and topic specific news. So the next step is install news api hyphen python you can see the documentation in this link you can install this from the command prompt or from pycharm community edition i have installed it from the command prompt if you have the virtual environment set up for django project activate that virtual environment first after that pip install news api hyphen python okay so these are the methods used in this news api we will be using get top headlines to retrieve the headlines of the news. We can also use this get everything method and get underscore sources method is to retrieve the news sources. Fine, let's start the project. I am going to create the project in this folder. Django projects already have three projects here. Virtual environment setup is here. Now activate this virtual environment by using this command vnv slash script slash activate. So virtual environment is activated. We can list the packages in this virtual environment by using pip list double hyphen local. This will list out all the packages in this virtual environment. So these are installed in this virtual environment. Now let's set up a Django project by using this command Django hyphen admin start project. The project name is news underscore project so news underscore project has been created see this now you go to this directory by using cd news underscore project then inside news underscore project create a new app by using python manage dot py start app let me name the app as news app Okay, let's check this again. So, news app is created here. Fine. So, we'll start by creating a templates folder in the news app. Click this news app and create a new folder that is a directory and name it as templates. In the templates folder, we are going to place our HTML file. So we'll be doing it soon. Okay, so the next step is we need to add this news app application and this templates path in the settings so in the news project click on this settings.py file here the installed apps add the news app here okay after this we are going to add the templates path in this DAS so in the DAS you have to give the base directory slash templates so base directory path is already defined here as base underscore dar base underscore dar slash string templates folder okay fine so that's it with settings.py file then the news app we have these files we are not going to do anything with the models file here as we are going to fetch the news from the api we will not store any news in the database. So leave the models file empty. Now open the views file. We have to create a view named index which will take a request and renders an HTML as a response. So initially import news API client from news API. News API import news API client. Then we will start creating the view right the function df index argument passed as the request. Here create the news API object. 
here news api is equal to news api client and you are going to pass the api key which we have got for our account copy this so instead of api key paste your own api key here okay then we can get this top headlines by using this method news api dot get underscore top underscore headlines and we will be passing the keyword argument sources to know what are the sources available we can make use of this method news api dot get underscore sources so instead of trying that here let me do that in the command prompt in the command prompt i have activated the virtual environment and i am in this path here let me open python and we'll copy these two lines from new cpi import new cpi client and then okay so now we can get the sources by using this method new cpi dot get underscore sources so when you check the sources so it's actually a dictionary the first key value pair is status okay the second key sources and the value is a list of dictionaries which contains the id of the source then the name description category language and country okay so here we need to check which id to be used for categories we have various categories like general then technology business and another category called sports so from this we can filter the sources which belongs to the category technology or the sources which belongs to the country india so we can do that now we have already retrieved the sources right from this i'm going to get s is equal to from the sources let me get the value for sources key alone okay so when you get s s contains only the value for sources alone it is a list of dictionary right from this we are going to filter the category technology alone so we can do that result equal to using a list comprehension i for i in s using the condition if i of category equal to technology okay I'll print it. So it contains the category technology alone. So we have got various IDs. We can make use of any of these IDs in our project. Okay. Similarly, we can also do it with country. If you are interested in news for a particular country, you can give country equal to for India give IN. Here for India Google News in. then the hindu then the times of india okay now let's create top equal to that is the, we are getting the top headlines using this method i'm just going to pass sources argument alone sources equal to let me pass bbc hyphen news first so this top will be a dictionary let's check this in the command prompt it's a dictionary the first key value pair is status okay and the second key value pair is total number of results returned so total number of results in this case is 10 and articles contains the source author title description url to the news source and url to image and also the published date when it has been published and the content detailed content all these details are available for all the articles okay we can also try it with some other source times of india so let me check in this case the total results is zero so no articles present from times of india so we will exclude that now okay so to retrieve the articles we are going to take top of articles right we will do that here my underscore articles equal to top of articles okay so the result will be a list of dictionaries and this articles is the key in the dictionary top okay then we are going to create 
three empty list for holding news title, description and news image. These are the things we are going to place in our news app. So to hold the news title, let me have an empty list called news and for description DSC equal to empty list and for image IMG is equal to empty list. Now we are going to loop over my articles and place the contents of this articles into this three list. So for I in range of based on the length of the my articles. So we'll use length function I underscore articles. Okay. From this I am going to retrieve the contents of my articles. F equal to my articles of I. Okay. So all the contents of the articles are stored in F now. From F we need to retrieve the title, description, URL to image and store it in this list. So in the news list I am going to append news.append the title that is F of title. And in the description list append f of description and finally in the image list we will append f of the image is present in this url to image url to image ok so we need to place all these things together so we will use zip function here Zip function is used to combine two or more iterables. In this case, we are going to combine these three lists into a single iterable. My list equal to the zip function passing news, description and image as the argument. So here the elements from the corresponding positions will be paired together. It is going to return the iterator of tuples where the first element from each list will be paired together. Then the second element from each list will be paired together and it goes on. Okay, fine. Then finally index function is going to return render function. So this render function takes the request object as the first argument. Request and the second argument is the template name. We have not created the template. We are going to do that in the next step. So I am going to name it as index.html. And the third argument is the context which is an optional argument. Context will be a dictionary. So I am giving context equal to. We will create a dictionary with the key my list colon and the value is this my list itself. Okay fine. So this will combine the template with the context dictionary and returns the HTTP response object with the rendered text. Fine. So that's it with the views. Now we need to create that index.html file in the templates folder. The HTML file must be placed in templates folder. So we we'll create new HTML file. Name it as index. Okay. Title news app. Here we are going to use bootstrap for the CSS. So bootstrap is a popular framework for building responsive mobile first websites. So you can copy the CSS provided by the bootstrap from this link. So CSS, we have this link to load CSS. So I am copying it here and paste it inside head tag. Fine. Then we will fill the contents of the body tag. So inside the body tag, I have created a div. This is to show the heading. I have used Jabotron class which will give you a big grey color box for some extra attention to some special content. So inside this I have placed a h1 tag, made it a center and I have given the heading for our news application. So this is purely for heading. Now I have added another div. Okay, Django template language has three ways of controlling what gets rendered. That is values, tags and filters. Values will be placed within the double brackets news and tags will be placed within bracket and percentage sign. The last one is the filter, this one. Using the pipe symbol, you can apply filter to a particular value. That is here, I am changing all the contents of the news value to uppercase. Okay, the filters can be chained. So the output of one filter will be applied to the next one. Okay, this for tag is to loop over each item in the list. So we have this my list, which we have retrieved from the views. 
So we are going to loop our news description and image in my list. Okay. And I have given the heading H1 news and in the H4 tag news is a value. Then I have made it as uppercase and line breaks is to include breaks after the news. Fine. Then I have added an image tag. The source is the image which we have retrieved here. And I have set the width and height of the image so that the news app gives a neat presentation. And finally, the description is obtained in this DES value and I have applied a line breaks here. And we have closed it and end for also. That's it with index.html. Okay. And the last step is we have to connect the view to the URL. So you need to go to urls.py file. So in this file, we need the path function which takes a URL endpoint and a view as the argument. So before that, we need to import the views from news app. So from news app, import views. Then we are going to add the path by using this path function. The URL endpoint is an empty string here. So that users can see it in the home page itself. And second argument is the view. So views dot index method okay that's it in short we make a request to the website by accessing the url then the request will be directed to the associated view that view will process the request and return a response to the client fine now you can run the django server using python manage.py run server so starting development server at this link click on this link so we got the heading and then the news. We have retrieved the news from BBC News. They have their logo in the image itself. Okay, news. This is the title. I have made it as uppercase. We can apply any filter. And then the image and description. Okay, similarly, we can retrieve news from any other source. Tech radar which is a technology source refresh this so we have got the news from tech radar some images are not available okay and we can also extract news from multiple sources by including a comma that is Earlier we have seen BBC hyphen news comma then tech crunch. Okay, we have given two sources. So the BBC news and the news from tech crunch. Both are shown in our news app. Let's try it by adding google news also the problem with google news is image will not be available so bbc news tech crunch news and this news without images or google news fine that's it about building a simple news app in django thanks for watching if you like this video kindly share and subscribe